Welcome to the Contour Collective location checks. This is the first in a series of videos and sort of short form documentaries where we'll be going to riding locations and trail centres around the UK and further afield to give you a bit of an insight into what to expect if you come to these places. Today we're in Comrie Croft in Perthshire in Scotland. This is a really small compact trail centre. It's got a whole range of trails which is perfect for the family or coming to progress your riding. So there's blues, reds and blacks. There's about nine or ten trails here. They're all really close to the cafe which is behind me. There's also camping on site, there's a skills course and it's just a really nice little trail centre to come and get riding. So we're going to go and get kitted up now and then head out onto the trails. So we're just at the bottom of the climb up to all of the trails on Comrie Croft. We're going to head up and check out the blue trail here. So the climb up here just switches between fire road and some really nice single track. So we're going to get the last piece of single track and head up to the top. So we're just going to drop into the blue trail. We've been notified by this lovely artistic sign that they've got at Comrie Croft. Um, yeah, let's go and check it out. Another trail. See you in a bit. So the bulk of the downhill starts now. I'm going to take the blue line. Hutch will show you down the black. Try and avoid the puddles. I've stayed dry all day. Oh, he is absolutely well and truly got me. has finished riding down the blue great trail and um, one of the best up here actually uh, the top bit's hard and um, sort of the harder end of the blue quite rooty and a few drops but then the bottom just really nice flowy turns great fun so we're gonna head up the hill and tick off a couple of reds and blacks now and see what else is on offer here at Comrie Croft I'm, I'm going now before we headed up to the red tracks we spoke with Scott from the bike shop to hear how Comrie Croft developed. So it's been around for quite a bit, 15, 20 years almost now. It started out as just a hostel uh, and then the camping sort of moved into it. And then Colin, who the, runs the bike shop, came along to help out in maintenance. He started up a hire fleet and then sort of tie in with a community group about local sort of walking groups. And they were like, right, well, can we have a race? And so we started sort of building a track for a run one-off race and it sort of went from there. Uh, we were able to eventually get money from the EU to help sort of fund it all and build all these other trails such as the red and the black got put in. Um, so it's just this sort of formed out of nothing um, into this wee mini beast that it is. It's sort of one of the most natural rugged trail centres there is but at times it doesn't feel like that because you're off in the middle of nowhere but then you come down you've got the cafe and everything so it's a good wee spot that's got a big mix of everything. So there's two, bla two black trails, two reds and a blue, uh, and in the skills park. Um, 
But one of the black trails is still under maintenance at the moment, but we've not been able to get back to it too much because of how busy we've been just fixing bikes for people. So hopefully this summer, that'll be the natural gold back open and running. Um, our blue trail is pretty rough, but it's designed to be progressive. So you can work your way up. So it's a really good place to come and learn because you can start out small and then quite quickly piece it together and make it a bigger, more rugged place. So you could go, right, well, I've done the blue a few times. And you know, right, that's fine. The red's a bit of a step up and so is the black, but it all feeds into itself so after a while you can come and probably ride them all quite well so i think best for here is probably it is quite rough most people don't like a hardtail here so a mid mid travel trail bike sort of 140 150 ish a big enduro bike a bit overkill because some of it is isn't that long trails they're rough but they're quite short so you can get on pretty fine most bikes um but probably mid trail mid range trail bike will do, will do you fine here yeah <laughs>
into Sloppy Joe's, which is the bottom section, takes us back down to the cafe. And there's a little uh, intersection here with the Hairy Coo Black, which is one of the sort of more popular blacks here uh, that most people ride. So let's just head down to the cafe. I am dying for coffee. Good trail. So that's uh, the Hairy Coo Black at Comrie Croft. That's us finish up for the location check here. Really good little trail centre. Lots of variety. The highlights have to be all of the rock slabs. Really cool just to ride something different like that. And then those turns just at the end of this black. Phenomenal. Just a really nice way of finishing. Great fun. Thoroughly recommend come into this place if you haven't been before. There's so much on offer despite there only being sort of nine trails. So yeah, definitely come and check it out. If you like this video, then drop us a comment. Uh, definitely come and check this place out and let us know what you think. And make sure if you want to see more of these, hit the subscribe button and give the video a like. It definitely helps just reach more people and gets yeah, a lot of riders out exploring new places. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video soon.